To look for the active infection, the most common way that people are looking now is doing a swab into the nose or into the nasopharyngeal area, and then a PCR test is done, or essentially a test looking for the genetic material of the virus. And if that's positive, that means somebody is infected with SARS-CoV-2. There are other ways to look for whether somebody's been exposed previously with a blood test, and there are tests that can actually look for some of the proteins or the antigens. But the most sensitive test for active infection now is looking for the genetic material. The standard of care as it stands now is an antiviral medicine called remdesivir. People also use other supportive care like oxygen if somebody is having difficulty breathing or blood pressure support or volume or fluids to help maintain people feeling healthy. There are a number of other clinical trials that are looking at other antiviral medicines as well as modulators of the immune system to help prevent people from getting very sick in those later phases of disease. Steroids has been shown to be helpful for people who are very, very sick and are on ventilators are requiring significant amounts of oxygen support.